I had a 3 Quicks Philip Facebook account with which I intended to respond to anybody who messaged me. As expected, it got a lot of messages, maybe a hundred a day. But that was okay, I set aside an hour of my day to get through them all. But I couldn't make any progress with it. Because on Facebook, people get the notification and can respond straight back. And when there's thousands of them doing it, there's simply no way that I can hope to keep up. These people would type up another response and then would fire it back to me maybe 30 seconds after I'd responded. So 100 messages later, I was then 200 messages further behind. I kept this up for a few months. I'd start with the oldest messages first and would work my way through them all like that. But the list of messages grew to the tens of thousands, making it infeasible to even scroll down to the start again. At some point you've just got to give up, seeing how ridiculous this undertaking is. It's like scooping water out of a sinking ship with a spoon. And it's not like these messages were even the simple sort where I could just read it and be all like, thanks. There would be links to maps for me to test, videos for me to watch, music to listen to, and other things that quickly inflated the time it took to respond to every one of them. And people started taking it personally if I didn't respond straight away, then messaging me on my business email to ask me why I was ignoring them and what they had done wrong and so on. So Facebook is out of the question because it's too easy for people to use and because people expect quick responses there and because people take it personally there if I don't reply again in a matter of minutes. What I did for a while was to leap between types of social media, hanging around on one until the workload became unmanageable, and then jumping to another one again. Most recently I tried opening up personal messages on Twitter, which to my horror doubled my workload since people just felt entitled to copy paste that Twitter message of theirs to my business email as well, just to make sure I saw it. Please don't do that. Twitter quickly became impossible to keep up with as well, because the messages I get there tend to be very involved, and also because it's spammed up by thousands of bot-managed spam messages which plague my inbox on there, so that's off limits as well. Right now there are two forms of social media that I can keep up with, and that's my YouTube comment section and my subreddit. And I think these work because firstly, people don't expect a response on these, and secondly, because it's a public place where others can answer the questions. Particularly on my subreddit, I see a lot of questions asked which are answered by other members of the community, often just as well as I could have done, and if they get it wrong I can always swoop by to clarify stuff. But these platforms are still open to abuse, I get people spamming all of my videos with the same question, please don't do this, yes it gets my attention, especially when it's all done within the space of 5 minutes, perhaps out of spite I might even respond to you, but it will be something along the lines of, please don't spam me. Just because I see your message, and just because it's a question, it doesn't mean that I want to respond to it. I'll try to reply, but there will be somewhere I'd rather not, and don't want to be harassed until I do because the response I eventually give might not be very nice. So there are definitely problems with trying to reply to each and every message. And to any YouTubers watching, I'll warn you, it might not even benefit you to try. Just because you like the content that somebody produces, it doesn't mean that you have anything meaningful to say to the maker. As a YouTuber, my time is best spent producing more videos, rather than to try and respond to everybody. My heart video, where I try to heart every comment it gets, is probably the best interaction I've had with lots of people. It leaves things mysterious and vague, but people still appreciate it. It takes me maybe a fraction of a second to read a comment and to heart it, but time-wise that's probably the best time investment I've put into responding to my fans. Do know that every heart I leave on that video is from me and not from some automated thing. And yes, it leads to people sneaking in responses to old comments or editing theirs to remove the heart to try and trick me into not giving it a heart, but nothing's perfect, is it? In conclusion, the best way to interact with people is on platforms where a response isn't expected, where it doesn't interfere with your ability to produce the content that you're already known for, and where those interactions don't end up making the person hate you. Over a year ago, somebody repeatedly emailed my business email with all sorts of unrelated stuff. I asked him to stop and he didn't take it well. He has dedicated a bit of every day since then to mess with that account, for over a year. He has carried out DDoS attacks, he has set up fake people using my email, using them to buy expensive hardware and to rack up thousands of euros of debt in Germany, which debt collectors are now trying to reclaim. My username has been signed up to extremist movements in America and all sorts of questionable stuff in Russia and the Middle East, as well as pretty much every adult site imaginable. I've received death threats from burner accounts. My email has even been spoofed to send abusive stuff to large companies that I've worked with like AMD, Dell, Valve, all done to try and ruin my reputation, to associate my business email with stuff that could get me into trouble, and to render my business email inoperable, just because he didn't like my response to him. So that's another reason you might not want to reply to people.